In my previous video, I introduced the WS2812B RGB LED strips interfaced with Arduino and showed you how to display different light patterns on the module. In this video, using the Fast LED library, I'll show you how to address each LED strip and use different functions to display different light effects. The Fast LED library has classes and objects and functions which can be used to manipulate and control the LEDs on the WS2812B module. The library contains two classes for coloring the LEDs. We have the class RGB and class HSV. For class RGB, uh, the first thing we need to do is to declare an array uh, to address the individual LEDs and this is the C++ statements we use to declare array LEDs to class uh, RGB and here the argument would be the number of LED strips on the WS2812B module. We have three ways uh, in which we can set the color of the ith element of array LEDs. Uh, either we store a hexy value into the ith element where this represents 8-bit value for the red, 8-bit for the green, and 8-bit for the blue. So if we want to set the color to red, this would be the hexy value. We can also set the color of the ith element by specifying a constant that belongs to the object CRGB. Note that the constant here must start with the capital letter. Finally, we could use this uh, statement here to set the color of the LED. So if we want to set the color to, let's say, green, then the uh, integer values of the argument should be 0, 2, 5, 5, 0. Let's have a look at this first demo code. We need to include the library for the fast LED. We declare the array LED, which will have 30 elements, meaning that we have 30 LED strips on the module. Inside function loop, we set element 10 to color red, element 11 to green, element 12 to blue. Then we use this function to turn on the LEDs, apply some delay, and then turn off the LEDs, and the process continues, and we have a blinking effect of the three LEDs. We can also set the color of the LEDs using this class. To set the ith element color, we use this C++ statement. Looking at the arguments, we have hue, saturation, and value, which are all 8-bit integers. The value of hue can be chosen by referring to this color chart. Let's say we want to set the color to blue, then the value would be 160. Saturation refers to the saturation level of hue and the value of 255 refers to maximum saturation. Value is the brightness level of hue and 255 will be maximum brightness. In this next example we are setting the hue of the three LEDs by using the random8 function. This function is part of the fast LED library which generates randomly an 8-bit integer between 0 and 255. The Fast LED library has built-in functions which can be used to generate different patterns on the WS2812B module. A useful function is the BeatSign8 function, which can be used to generate an 8-bit sine wave at a specific frequency or a specified beats per minute. Function BeatSign8 has five arguments. BPM determines the frequency of the sinusoid. 60 VPM is equivalent to 1 Hz. Minimum value and maximum value determine the peak-to-peak -peak amplitude of the sinusoid. Time base and phase offset determine the amount of shift along the time axes. In this example, the beat sine 8 function is used to generate a 1 Hz sine wave that oscillates along the first 10 LEDs of the WS2812B module. The system presented in my previous video is modified here by programming two new patterns which can be accessed through these two push uh, buttons. The patterns use uh, some of the techniques presented in this uh, tutorial. There is also a 10K pod connected to one of the analog inputs 
which is used to control the speed of the patterns. And now for a quick demonstration. First we set the number of uh, active LEDs on the module. Next we display the first pattern and we can control the speed of the pattern through the 10K pot. Now we display the second pattern which uses the beat sign 8 function. The C++ sketch of the implemented system is available in the video description. Thank you for watching.